Hello, the title of today's video. 98% of golfers get this wrong. Now, if you're thinking, I'm not one of them, well, I can assure you, there's only 2% of people that gets right, so you're probably falling in that 98%. So, when I'm teaching here at Motcham Hall, or I'm even driving down this drive, I see golfers do this, and this is tragic. So, we're on a par five. Hopefully, we're smashing driver down the fairway. We're then faced with a long iron. We're then faced with a pitch, and most probably, a chip to try and save par. Now, if you're stood there, the same to same stance for a four iron, as you are with a pitching wedge, and as you are with a chip, you are making everything guesswork. You're limiting how good you can strike your irons. Okay, so let's get a laser on this. And while I'm lasering this and getting a yardage, you won't believe how these subtle differences make such a change. And even though they are subtle, it will feel quite odd to some of us because we know when we change ball position, when we change stance, it feels ridiculous, but actually looks great. So I've got 185. And also, I've been thinking about this. So I'm gonna grab six sides. I need a good one though. Have any of us ever used an app? Okay, do you ever of us use an app that you use to get your yardage? So you might not have bought a laser, you might not have bought a rangefinder. Please get in those comments, because I'm thinking of doing a video rating what possibly you guys, I'm giving my opinion on this, what you guys think as the best free golf GPS app. Smash those comments down below. So, let's take six iron. While I'm addressing my six iron right here, I like a stance that's on shoulder width apart with my feet slightly flared, okay? This helps me be dynamic, this helps me transfer my weight. My ball position is roughly, let's say this, nice and simple, one, two, three rolls of my golf club towards my lead foot. So it's a little bit forward in my stance. I now feel like my stance weight and pressure is 50-50 either side. So I'm splitting it nice and evenly. So this is how I want you to set up to an iron. The only thing you're gonna change with these irons is your ball position as you go either up the bag to maybe if you carry a three iron or three hybrid, or slightly down the bag as you go to sort of seven iron, eight iron, and nine iron. This will get closer towards your zip. But the stance and the weight distribution would remain the same. Let's hit this one away. Whew. Now that's how we want to strike those longer irons. Now this is so key, let's make these subtle changes and move down this fairway to now a pitch. And you're gonna see how this is super important because the club gets shorter, we get more loft, the shaft angle gets more vertical. This is why you have to make these changes. If you wanna strike them pure, you won't wanna make any mistakes, let's do it. Okay, so once you've hit a decent iron shot as a layup on a par five, we're then left with that awful yardage in it. Around 50 yards. <sighs> Failing time. This is It's hard, this one, isn't it? Okay, so this is how, and the reasons why, you've got to adjust your ball position and adjust your setup slightly, and it has a dramatic effect on your ball flight. So when we're left with 50 yards, this sits straight in my wheelhouse of a 54 degree. Now, I want you to understand this. As we're getting closer to the hole, we don't need as much power, therefore our stance can get just that little bit narrower. So this is key. Now, I want you to understand that now as we're going to a pitch shot, we've gone from a shoulder width apart stance to now a narrower stance. Now this is super key, because a narrower stance means we can swing a little bit slower, but control our arc, whereas if I was gonna swing slowly with a really wide stance, well, I'd find it really quite hard to do what I wanna do, right? So, when we've got a wedge in our hand and we've got that horrible 50, 60, 70 yard shot, anything that's not a full shot, 
Can we now take a stance that's two club head widths apart, get a little bit closer to the golf ball, have our weight slightly on our left, and pull our lower half a little bit open to our shoulders. And the key thing you want to feel through the shot here is that our weight stays on our left throughout. So if you look what changes we've made from a full shot, weight 50-50, wider stance, we've now got a narrower stance, two club heads width apart, we've got our lower half a little bit open and our weight on our left, 60-40. We've also got to think about ball position. I like to feel this is just towards the back half of our stance, so on our two club head widths apart, make sure it's roughly around our back club head, as you can see here. We then all got to think about here is just putting the pace on the shot we want whilst keeping our weight on our left. So it's vitally important. We have to understand as we get closer, our shaft angle gets shorter and a little bit steeper in comparison to driver that's like this, therefore we need to hit more down on the golf ball, therefore helping us do this is ball further back and weight on our left hand side. So these are the ones we like to get right, don't we? Here we go. Oh, be the number. Exhibit A of why you have to adjust your stance. There's no chance on this earth of the wide stance I could have guaranteed that strike. Yes, I may have had some times where I got lucky, but we don't want to rely on luck, do we? We need as much of that as possible as we can in the game. Okay, final part of the video. Well, let's move on to the next part of this video. The short chip. Now, if you stood to this, as you would a 7-9 or a pitch, you're going to be plagued by, well, fats, thins, tops, all of the above that we do not want. So, adopt this setup and find that strike just comes second to none. So, if you think about what we've done logically here, we've slightly adjusted our setup as we've got closer to the green, as we want to hit more down on it, we put the ball towards the back of our stance, we put the weight on our left hand side, and these factors with a narrow stance help us control the club at slower speeds. You might now say, Alex, well, I'm only sort of 30 yards further up than I was on my pitch. Does this really make much of a difference if I'm narrower than I was with a seven iron? Yes, it does. So to adopt the perfect chipping setup, and this is so simple, we're now going to reduce our stance to a club head width apart. Having the ball towards the back of our stance, again, shuffling a little bit closer, getting the shaft angle to sit a little bit more vertical, turn the left toe out, move the right left foot away, weight on your left hand side. You're now in what I feel as the perfect position to hit down on this golf club and control that club at slow speeds. If you are stood here trying to control this chip like this, look how my wrists are doing the work for me. Logically, you're thinking, well, more to go wrong. Whereas, if we get a little bit closer to it, a little bit more of a setup adjusted for the length of shot, I've now got full control of what I am really trying to do. So moving and controlling that club at slow speeds is key with this setup. So if we look at each and every one of those setups now, you've got seven iron, where you've got a wider stance with both feet flared and the ball sort of zip and forwards. This is because it's a longer club, doesn't require you to hit as much on the down. Then as we've got closer into a more of a pitching shot around that smelly 50 yard marker, we've gone two club widths apart, weight on the left hand side 60-40, and then having the left foot slightly pulled back. And then gradually again as we move to a chip and those ones that are just off the surface of the green and we're looking to get it running, we've gone one club head width apart, 
The weight on our left hand side a little bit more, 70-30 with the ball at the back of our stance. This allows you to control that club at a slow speed. Think of this, if we're throwing the golf ball, okay, we'd start off just sort of throwing it if we want to do it short. As we get longer, we take more of a step. As we get longer again, we take more of a step. So this analogy applies so, so much to this. Use these setup changes, they're subtle and they're effective. They really will make you change the way you're striking down on your chips, down on your pitches and those pure strikes with your medium to long irons. Thanks for watching, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and around the same time.